YouTube land, it's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we are reviewing Gundam Universe Nataku, a.k.a. Shawong Gundam, based on the 1995 anime and this is the best representation for this figure from 1995 but before we look at the figure itself we're gonna look at the box look at that nice artwork of this gundam oh man the claw arm is sick the head is sick even the armor painted on this box is sick i got a crate where i keep boxes for these things because I can't part with the artwork when it's this good then we got the movement of the body and all the features other figures coming out we don't have reason why I picked this up was because I love this figure do got some other accessories here yeah I had to pull those out because we are going to be showing those off after we do the figure. Sorry, it just didn't want to go back in. This is GU20 Shaolong Gundam XX. G015. So that's what they called this figure. That's all there is to say for the package in. Let's look at the figure itself. And I've been wanting to show this off since I got the figure. Okay. This figure is really good and sculpted real well. I will admit the sculpting on this figure is amazing. The articulation is good. You got some ankle tilt. Knees bend pretty good. Can kick back that far, which is cool. Kick forward that far. Same goes for the other leg and this leg. So you can get him some epic mobile suit poses if you wanted them to. Head is on a ball joint. Love that. His weapon is really well molded and sculpted. And the hands are really well done. But he's even got the shield he had in the show. The Taku had in the show. Well, now we can put the uh, weapon on the back. There is a little peg on the back of it. I think you can store the weapon. Oh, yeah. So you can store the weapon on there. But let's look at the arm articulation. Bend at the elbow. Hand rotates. Other hand rotates. Bend at the elbow. And we'll show off the second arm feature. Shoulder joint. Really good. Second shoulder joint. Really good. Shoulder pad. Good. But now we're ready to show off the main feature. I bet all of you want to see from the anime. So we're going to disconnect the hand here. It's just very simple. Pull it off the ball joint out. Flip out the claw. But this is the main feature you're probably all going to want to see from the 1995 anime, if you remember it. Where he extends his claw arm out. And crushes a Leo with a bare hand. So let's go dig out our MIS Leo from where I put it. Oh, we're going to set that figure down. Ah, here we go. But given this is an MIS and not a Gundam Universe, we'll have to lower it down. And now he's crushing the, the head off the Leo with the claw arm. And that is just so cool. Look just like what he did in the show to destroy the mobile suit. That is just so cool. 
So yeah, definitely some nice features on that. And now we can convert it back, so some slight transformation, but easy to convert back. Just flip the claw backwards like we had it, and this one too. And reconnect the hand right there. As you can see, very straightforward. And we'll give him back his trusty beam spear. Which is very simple. Into his hand. Getting him to dual wield it. And now he's ready to do some battle against Oz. Yeah, this is a great looking figure. If I do say so myself, it does come with some other accessories. We get some Closed fists, yeah, those come with it. And this piece, I don't know what's, what this piece does or what it's for, but I've gotten this piece in the past and I still don't know. Might be a stand connector for all I know. But what I do know is they did not make a stand for this figure or sold it with it. That really would have been a cool thing if they did, but no, they didn't. But before we end this video, we are going to show off, for comparison, with the other Gundam Universe Gundam Wing figures. I'm only picking up the Gundam Wing figures because I'm more of a fan of Gundam Wing from Gundam Universe. So, we are picking up only Gundam Wing. Here we... And Otaku is Gundam 05 and Gundam Wing. Here is Gundam 03. Next to Nataku. Why not? Gundam 02, a.k.a. Death Scythe. So we got the two weapons that basically have energy-based blades. Of course, the other... Heavy Weapon special, Specialist, Gu Type Gundam, Wing Zero, my favorite Gundam universe, number one, as of this year. And just to do a group shot, because we like to do group shots. How many Gundam Wing Gundam universes do we own? Out of five, we own four now. Out of five. Now, this is a good looking collection, if I do say so myself. I highly recommend this to anyone looking to get some figures based on the 1995 figures nowadays. These guys are worth the money if you can find them for a good price. I am so glad to have these in my collection. I look forward to when I get my last Gundam Universe from eBay in somewhere this month and show them off to you. Because he'll be done probably in May. But yeah, these figures are so cool, so articulated, so awesome. And they are really well sculpted and painted. I love them. And I'm so glad I had a chance to review these things. I remember when I first watched this show... When I was a kid, it was the mid-2000s, after 1995, but I never regretted watching this show, because these Gundams were sick looking, they were awesome, and I downright enjoyed them. So if you want to know where to find these guys, you can probably find them in the stores if you're lucky. But I'd highly recommend picking them up as a set, because these guys are worth it. But if I had to get my number one favorite Gundam in this set, it'd have to be Wing Zero. But otherwise, I can't own a set without all five. And that's all there is to say for this video. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out YouTube land.